Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Simone and SRNA. I am back with another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be discussing my first exams and all of my classes and where have I been. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. First things first, are you subscribed? Are you, are you really subscribed though? Like, can you subscribe? Make sure you click the bell notification. That way you're notified every time I upload. And let's get into this video. First, I'm going to be talking about my exams, which is a part of the reason why I've been absent but we'll get into like the bigger issue later in this video so if you haven't noticed which you probably haven't noticed for one I film all the time and filming is like an outlet for me I love filming I love communicating with you guys you know reading your comments everything is so encouraging I love that about filming on your side your end it may not look like I've been absent but for me it it, I have been because I haven't been filming. I haven't been editing all the videos that I posted. I had already pre-filmed those because I knew exam week was going to be a little challenging to sit down and film. For y'all, it may not seem like I've been absent, but for me, I actually have been. This is probably my first time in maybe like a week and a half that I've actually picked up the camera to film. I haven't been vlogging. I had my first three exams and all of my classes when i tell you this week was probably like the toughest week i was like dead ass tired so just to kind of give you a recap so today is september the 26th so i had two exams this week on tuesday i had my pharmacology exam on wednesday which was yesterday i had my patho exam and then last week thursday i had my principal's exam principal's wasn't too bad because i had a, i mean i had like a weekend to study for that test these next two exams the ones that i just finished were probably the toughest because the first exam for pharmacology wasn't bad that was actually my highest grade but i spent the less amount of time studying so i was actually really pleased with that grade However, my path of exam was my toughest exam and the one that I, although I passed, the amount of time that I A, wish I could have spent towards that and B, the amount of material was just really like tough because we had, so the next few exams in that class are all about three or four chapters that we're like going over. This particular test was the longest and like hardest exam because we had nine chapters worth of material majority of it was the two big subjects were cardiac and respiratory however the disease processes and everything that you need to know was just so in-depth it was challenging and i mean i'm i'm pleased with i'm i passed but i like really really wanted a better grade and i really do feel like if i would have had more time to study I think I would have did much better than I expected because so for principles I mean that was pretty much a given I didn't really have any other exam to study for so I had like maybe three or four days to study I didn't start studying till last week Friday like I had already been reviewing the material throughout the week so I didn't really start like hardcore studying until like Friday and from Friday till Thursday till today I literally probably only slept for like 20 hours so I put a lot of time into studying. I was up at till like two o'clock in the morning every night and I had to wake up at seven because my daughter wakes up at seven o'clock all the time. So I mean I really only got five hours of sleep every night and on exam days I really only got two hours of sleep because I was up reviewing material so much because I wanted to do well on this exam. Overall I feel like my study process is actually pretty decent. There wouldn't be anything that I would change with it, to be honest. I believe Patho was my lowest grade out of all of the exams. But I just, honestly, I just needed more time because I had spent, so what I did was, I would say Thursday, Friday, Saturday of last week, I like did Path. I started Patho. I felt like I knew the material. Like I was like, oh, I know this material. I know this material. But I had to switch gears because my first exam was pharmacology. Well... I studied, I studied on Sunday to Tuesday, which was the exam, and when I like left the exam and I opened the book to start studying again for patho, I was like, oh my god, I don't remember anything I studied. Which I did, but it just wasn't like, it didn't come quick to me, so I like had to re, like learn everything. It was just like, I was like, god, in like, in less than 24 hours, it's just, I crammed so much information 
and when I look back on it now there are like a lot of things I was like I just made like careless mistakes but the exam was hard but I did well so I feel like that's all that matters but I'm so hard on myself and I'm so type A that I want an A I'm like striving for that but as long as I get a passing grade I get a passing grade I don't know if a lot of CRNA schools do this test style but my my school is really big on testing us similar to boards so if you didn't know boards has I believe six different types of questions is that six question types so you can have either fill in a blank matching your standard multiple choice question you can have hot spot questions and what a hot spot question is is you have a picture and they tell you to like pick a point or pick somewhere in the picture there's one more maybe an s i don't think they have an essay type question but there's one more type of question if you're an srna if you know then drop it down below i can't remember what the last one is but so we have a lot of those type of questions in our exam so it's not just multiple choice it's really like matching fill in the blank so you really have to like know the material it's not just oh i can finesse it and like guess because like you can if you had just multiple choice questions you really can just finesse and like guess but that's not what they really want to know that you actually know what you're talking about and know the material so you will get like a fill in the blank or a matching question and if you don't get all the matching then you just don't get the question you don't get the full point so that could be tough because it's a different type of like question or mindset when you're testing but the point of the matter is and that's why i say like you really have to know the material you can't just like finesse it so i don't want to go in to detail just yet because it's so fresh but i, I do want to like make a video and i'm really big on like being transparent and you know giving you the raw but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it i feel like and i want to wait till the right time to really share everything um that's been going on and it's not like anything personal life it's really like related to school something happened recently in regards to school that i was aware of or brought that had been brought to my attention that really bothered me over this past week so I felt like it was best to kind of like put away the camera just for a little bit and really focus on my settings not saying that like I can't do YouTube or anything like that I just feel like people just don't know you know what people what other people do and people like to check for you and I feel like you know y'all y'all don't see what I do behind the scenes and or and I would just say that in general people don't know like what you do behind the scenes I bust my ass off you know taking care of my daughter, studying, um, being a wife, finding time to film and edit to have a video up for y'all every week. And that, that's no, like, me filming and me doing YouTube is fun for me. I enjoy it. I actually enjoy doing YouTube. Like, I enjoy, like, doing it and filming and, like, having y'all watch my content and really getting to know a few people. I love reading your comments. Like, all of that I really do love forming that relationship and really having people be inspired by me when i created this platform you know i wanted to you know help not only all of my like african-american like students and all of that i mean henceforth that's why i created a platform the melon srna one i'm black two i really feel like you know when i was applying to crna schools what really bothered me was you know you would go to school's websites and you would see one black person or no black person and you know for the vast majority that may not matter to them but for me a person of color that means so much to me that speaks volumes to me as a type of school the things that i would experience and the thing is is that i want to have a good experience in school and you know people people don't realize that when you are the only minority in your class like it 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 affects you in so many ways and i'll even take it that back to nursing school i was probably one of two or three people out of black people in my class and i'm not gonna lie i had some really tough clinical experiences just being a person of color i had really like challenges with preceptors and things like that and those are things that you know people don't experience when you're not a person of color and so it was important to me to find a school that was extremely diverse 
that had a few black people that I can like relate to. I was like, oh, okay, I can somewhat feel comfortable. If I got in a school that didn't have any, I knew walking in it was going to be a challenge. However, I wasn't going to let that lack of diversity stop me from reaching my goals or my dreams. Aisha and Nurse Nell and all of the influencers that are like now CRNAs, I feel like there are, it's time for you know, me or PJ or, you know, other people to, you know, fill that spot because I do want to be an inspiration and, you know, show that you can, you know, succeed in getting to school. You can see people just like us in CRNA school killing it. I do enjoy doing this. I enjoy filming. I enjoy editing. I enjoy the process. In addition to studying, is it hard? Is it easy? No, but I love doing it. Um, so I say this to say, you know, when you meet people that are completely different from you, try not to judge someone based off of how they may act without really getting to know them, without even speaking to them, or create a perception that isn't true about someone else. Because unless you actually speak to that person, you never really know who they are as a person, what they may have going on. I know when people meet me initially, and if you ever see me, I don't really know who you are. I'm not gonna lie. I had the worst, or probably the one of the worst, actually I've, I've actually met a few people that have a worse resting bitch face than I do, but I do have a, I'm really standoffish, and I do have a resting bitch face, like I really do. It's not anything against you, it's just who I am as a person, I've always been that way. Like, I look mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do look like a bitch, but I'm not really like that mean. <laughs> I'm really not mean, but for me personally, I have to, when I first get to know someone, I'm a little standoffish because I'm also reading you, I'm also reading your vibe, I'm reading your energy because I can tell by a person's vibe or energy if I'm really gonna mesh well with you or I'm just not gonna be fucking with you. And that's just to be real. Like, I can just tell if you're the type of person I see myself hanging around with or not. My best friend can attest to it, my husband can attest to it. It's just who I am. I think people like to form a perception of me without actually getting to know me. And I think that's not cool because if you don't ever actually say hello or speak to me, then you may be creating some type of false perception of me and you have no idea who I really am. My take home message or what I wanna say is don't let people write your story or tell your story who have never even spoken to you a day in their life. Because I'm the author of my story, I know who I am. I know how hard I work, I know how hard I work to get here, and how hard I will continue to work to finish out the rest of this program with being a wife, doing YouTube, raising my daughter. It doesn't really matter. I work my ass off and that's just that. I think it's just important that we are just a little nicer to each other and not like say things that can be hurtful to somebody else. That is what's been going on. I apologize for not filming or having videos ready for you all. However, I had recently just posted the Mel Melanin Mentorship Program and I am super duper excited. I woke up to a ton of exciting messages and comments and literally made my day. So I am definitely blessed and very grateful to start this program and get to read all of your applications and all of that I am literally excited let me know in the comments if you really enjoy like this how I pull an all-nighter or like my process of studying at night and all of that so definitely like this video if you enjoy those types of videos however thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to y'all in a later video